Hello everyone. Welcome back to the asynchronous programming in .NET. In this video, we will discuss about the asynchronous programming pattern in .NET. So let's understand what is the like how many type of the patterns we have the asynchronous programming. So if we talk about from the previous like uh, since the .NET programming came, so how so far we have the three models, and here you can see. Like first is the APM and that is the asynchronous programming model and it was introduced in 1.1 and it is basically uh, based on like how it like it's basically like from the begin and end events that we will see in a bit and another is the like EAP and that is the event based asynchronous pattern and it was introduced in 2.0 and the latest one is the TAP and that is the task based asynchronous pattern is basically introduced in 4.0 but mostly started using in the .NET framework 4.5 so these are the three program asynchronous programming patterns which we have in the .NET so let's understand little bit about all these things like what are they so asynchronous programming model or we can say the APM is basically uses the I async result design pattern and what is the meaning of that it's basically when we implement the asynchronous programming model it is implemented as two method name begin operation name and the end operation name so basically like it is based on two method like those method is basically existing method and those are basically like first is the begin operation method and another is the end operation method and in the next video we will see like what all are the methods name we have and is basically like that begun and end the asynchronous operation operation name respectively so in a bit we will clear it like what is the asynchronous programming model and how we used to do in the dot net previously now next is the event based asynchronous pattern or we can say the eap like which is the event based legacy model for providing the asynchronous behavior a class that support the event based asynchronous pattern will have one or more method name method name async so first is the method name async and like these method may mirror synchronous version which perform the same operation on the current thread now the class may also have a method name completed like this is the method name async and the next is the method name completed event and it may have the method name async cancel so that also we will see in the coming videos like how we used to implement the asynchronous programming using the event based asynchronous pattern and now the next is the latest one is the task based asynchronous pattern and like generally now if we are doing a new programming we should use this pattern and that is the tap in the dot net the task based asynchronous pattern is the recommended asynchronous design pattern for new development it is based on the task and task T result type and which is set inside the system dot threading dot task namespace which is are used to represent the asynchronous operation so we will discuss more on the task based patterns as well like how we create asynchronous programming using this tap so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you